maples and then the white oaks, you get this fern called licorice fern that grows on here. And you'll see it grows kind of in the folds and the moist areas by rhizome um, right in here. And I'll just pick off some of the tops of this one. It goes underneath the bark. That's what the rhizome of the licorice fern looks like. And this one, you could gather it up. I'll leave this piece like that for you guys to take back for you. But here's another one of it. And um, you just would clean this off. And this was really good for sore throats. Go ahead and clean it off a little bit and try a little piece. Go ahead and try a little piece. Want to try some? No, I've eaten lots of it. Eaten lots of it? Okay. Bob, hold the camera steady. And so this was good for sore throats and uh, for coughs. Good for stomach too. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, and so that one mm -hmm. helped coat your throat like another medicine, and that was off of the licorice fern. And you could get, get these, gather them, dry the roots, and any other time you need it, you could pound it up and make a tea, and that helps with your sore throat and stuff.